It is the 2nd of the 7th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. We're going to go ahead and start with energy news again tonight. Blown up levee causes 3 to 4 inch rise in water level coming down the Missouri River. Just half an inch is considered a fairly big event. Now what's happened is um, this county owned and operated levee in Pottawatomie County, Iowa um, was dug out and blown out um, to let flood waters back into the Missouri River Basin where the levee's broken upstream and they're letting the water out. The farmers are letting the water out. Uh, apparently they didn't ask if uh, it was okay to do that. They just went ahead and did that and saved their own butts um, farther down the line. So that's pretty much what happened today with the exploding levee in Iowa. British government deeply involved in blatant conspiracy designed to manipulate the truth. Very effective attempt to claim reporting of true story of Fukushima. And here we go again, mainstream media, big time corporations uh, putting the big hush hush up for their buddy buddies in the nuclear industry. GE, right? Northeast Omaha residents getting notices from government about how to handle catastrophic levee breaches. Spillway gates at Big Bend Dam now closed to inspect how water has affected the structure. We expect repairs when this is done. June was the first time in the dam's history that gates have been opened during a flood since they built it back in 1964. And they're concerned about uh, erosion as they've opened up these gates. So they're going to close it down for a day and they're going to open it back up. Uh, wildfire spreading into a canyon stretching past dumping grounds for low-level radioactive wastes, which pretty much means it's already been through the dumping ground for low-level radioactive waste. And a levee intentionally blown up near Fort Calhoun nuke plant. Mm -hmm. Relieved some st stress around there, didn't it? Press conference. Journalists asked if contaminated waste was dumped at Bandelier Park, Los Alamos, official could not answer. Bandelier supervisor says over 50% of the area is part of the burn. Tokyo tea leaves with 27,000 becquerels kilograms of radioactive cesium picked by elementary school children. Reactors number 5 and 6 contain 8,000 tons of radioactive water. Will be transferred to Megafloat over the next few months. And uh, TEPCO is not really sure how they're going to get rid of this stuff. They're just going to send it out to sea, but they're not going to dump it. They're not going to dump it in the Pacific. No, no, they won't do that. Radioactive tellurium 129M detected in seawater for the first time. It has a short 34-day half-life that indicates a new leak. TEPCO says, nuh-uh. Corpse, is, uh, corpse stop, stopping release at Big Bend Dam upstream to check. An NBC photo of barrel with plutonium contaminated waste inside plastic tent at Los Alamos Area G. When they assure you there's nothing to worry about, I think I'd be somewhat worried, says former DOE official. Radioactive waste was dumped in trenches along six acres above the town of Los Alamos. Deputy Energy officials said radiation threat is pretty limited. And Fort Calhoun nuclear plant like Fukushima in slow motion, blah, blah. <sighs> radiation was being released deliberately from Fukushima meltdown, argued British government. Los Alamos lab director waste was deposited outside lab property decades ago when safety standards were far lower. Areas around the facility could be filled with it. And where was the other one? Worker burned at Fort Calhoun nuclear power plant after a pump catches fire. Apparently they were refueling the pump by hand, uh, hand tanks, and caught a fire and he burned his arm and his face and they took him away for a... Uh, Fixer Upperies. Over to EarthChangesScott.net. Um, story on the devastating floods in the Midwest. 
more global warming propaganda, the atmosphere is saturated in Africa, blah, blah, blah. India, India, monsoon rains, 90, 89 PC above normal in Uttar Paris. Da, da, da. 89% above normal. And so far it's claimed 18 lives, flooding, 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 of course. Tropical storm Arlene deluges Mexico, and that is much needed rain in Mexico for sure. Uh, but again, you know, a lot of flooding, landslides, blah, 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 with the, with, the, with the heavy rain. Bangladesh is reporting more rains ahead. Heavy rains caused by the active monsoon at different parts of the country may prolong for one or two days more. Uh, U.S. storm pounds area with hail causes power outages. Uh, this is out of Chicago. Violent storms pelted the area with rain and golf ball sized hail Thursday night, leaving more than 100,000 ComEd customers without power. The supercell storm hit shortly after 9 p.m. The south suburbs had about 56,000 ComEd customers without electricity. Uh, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, they had some hail and, and high winds and lost power in Chicago. <clears throat> Stunning non Lucent cloud shining brightly in the United Kingdom. Was that part of the Northern Lights stuff? Heat index could hit dangerous levels for 4th of July weekend. No kidding. We are roasting here in Iowa. Had a heat index of like 110 degrees today. It's still up to it's like 100 and something now. But we got severe storms rolling just north of Des Moines. Uh, kind of that cold front's moving in for us. Arizona residents affected by fires brace for floods as they enter their rainy season. <clears throat> and heavy rains hit Beaufort, uh, South Carolina, low country. And uh, they had some severe weather in South Carolina. Over to the extinction protocol. Flooding Nepal could leave thousands homeless. Uh, perched lava lake rising higher in Pu'u'u'u crater in Hawaii. That's the new crater uh, with the lava lake. The rise of the lava lake and in infilling of the crater is setting a stage for an interesting times ahead. In the coming weeks and months, it seems likely that the lava will fill the volcano overflowing unless yet another collapse of the crater floor occurs and supply of magma to the central vents are interrupted. Jellyfish invasion sets down operations at Scottish nuclear power plant. Um, this is July 2nd. An invasion of jellyfish into a cooling water pool at a Scottish nuclear power plant has kept nuclear reactors offline on Wednesday, a phenomenon which may grow more common in the future, scientists said. So, you know, here's one more reason not to have these big nuclear power plants. Let's get them cool, let's get them shut down, let's get them buried now. Uh, marine ecosystem crashing with great rapidity. Oklahoma's Grand Lake, the latest casualty. And sources tell the two news that Grand Lake will likely be closed this 4th of July weekend due to an explosion of blue-green algae. And that's from the excessive heat. Uh, econ here's an economic story. U.S. government publicly discussing the once unthinkable idea of financial default. And Congress has one month to raise the nation's borrowing limit or the government will default on its own debt. Fiat currency. We're playing Monopoly, kids. Russia to deploy two army brigades, brigades to protect its claims to the Arctic. Now you got to remember, uh, there's a lot of new oil reserves and stuff they found up there, and uh, they've been laying claims on this for the past few years. Um, United States, Canada, and Russia. National Weather Service issues heat warning for Southern California. And 2.9 tremor surprises residents in New Zealand's North Island. And uh, 2.9 felt like a big shake, uh, no real damage, but um, they're just putting into the facts the, the risk of it's on a plate line, it's a very active area. 10 million people affected by worsening drought in eastern Africa. Kenya, more than 10 million people are thought to be affected across the East Africa region. The UN says the large swaths of northern Kenya and Somalia are now in the emergency category, one phase before it's officially classified as a famine. 
The, con the two consecutive poor raining seasons have resulted in one of the driest years since 1950-51 in many pastoral zones. So here we go, uh, severe drought. They can't even water their, their um, livestock and they're starting to need help. Entire ecosystem at risk from South Georgia drought. Hundreds of fish found dead. Uh, drought conditions are ble being blamed for the deaths of 100 fish at Radium Springs in South Georgia. Authority says the creek is normally connects to Radium Springs to the Flint River is dry and the water level is so low that the fish don't have enough oxygen to survive. And finally over to the RSO tonight. Uh, cold wave continues in Brazil, Uruguay, Argentina, Chile, Peru, Bolivia, South America. Force fires in New Mexico, Texas, Arizona, New uh, Colorado, <clears throat> Georgia, Alabama, Northern Florida. Um, just fires, fires, fires. Uh, what else is going on? Landslide in Bangladesh, avalanches, uh, Mount Rainier. And again, like I said the other night, uh, they don't know if uh, Mount Rainier is gearing up or if it's just ordinary landslides uh, from the excessive snow and blah, blah, blah. Uh, flash flooding in Mexico, of course, that's the, the tropical storm. That is about all I have for you today. And again, pay particular attention to what's going on in Fukushima and around uh, Fort Calhoun and Cooper nuclear power plants. If I've missed anything, please let me know. Uh, enjoy what you can, and thanks for all your help, everybody. Buckle up.